that ass. I ain't going back and forth with no broke ass bitch And that song that you like, I probably wrote that shit know that's it uh, More fire, hot like Naya Whole lot of juice, I'm the plug and the wire Well, hello And welcome back to My Indigo Mind This is your host, Tashana And today, we are talking about All the debacle, honey That Unfolded last night, live all out of breath. Jasmine, not taking accountability. Don't nobody got time for that. So let's get right into this video. Forever is the strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. No think. Well, <laughs> when they first jumped on hey, me, I jumped inside the lab. She wasn't really talking about too many. Uh, what she hadn't already said about these women, right? Okay. So I left, um, and I came back, and I realized, hold up, she's still alive, so I jumped on. And when I jumped on, she was going off, honey. Um, calling her all out her name, whether that be Chrissy or Ming. Um... When I tell you how that smells, how that smells, she, I mean, she tried to air it out. She said that Chrissy borrowed $20 from Chris, still owe her money, borrowed money from Jasmine. Um, Rod don't have no job. Now, this one right here, Chris spoke to Rod behind the scenes, allegedly. And he asked him, like, you know, what's up? Like, you you, you got a problem or whatever the case may be. Now, from what Jasmine and Liv is saying, um, they had a call. They were talking, and Chrissy got upset and wanted Rod to get off of the phone with Chris. And Rod let the, um, Chrissy know, you know, stay in the woman's place. Um, they saying that as if it was an insult. At the end of the day, there were two men having a conversation, so he didn't disrespect her by saying, hey, this is two men, let us talk. You know what I'm saying? Because, let's be clear, we say all the time, let women be women. Let us have our bickerments, your men, stay out of it. So it wasn't her place to have that conversation or jump into that conversation between two men. Um... Now, all of the rest of the stuff, oh, she slept with this one, she slept with that one. Whether Jazzy knows it or not, she insulted her three different times. Oh, I'm not Jasmine. Oh, you can't do me like Jasmine, because Jasmine ain't going to say nothing to you. Now, when I was at the, I watched Olivia, and she went off, she went off, going off, going off, all out of breath, and wound up and all of the things then you watch everybody else who's actually in the situation and they're on a calm page you know what i'm saying um now ming was on while liv was on okay and ming was just like look i'm not i'm not doing this with her we've done this for years we go back and forth months now we just went through this and now you need views so you're using this situation of us all splitting or no longer being friends for your views. Like, ain't nobody stupid, girl. So, um, you know, she dialed it back and she kept it cute. Now, a little while later, Chrissy jumps on. She's like, look, keep my kids out your mouth. And I agree 100% because... Olivia don't like for nobody to call her kids anything. They don't. She don't like for her kids to be dealt with in a way that someone has something to say. So the fact that you set your raggedy ass 
up there and talked about that woman's children, you need a fucking slap. Period. You don't get to talk about people's kids. And you don't want nobody to talk about chores. Whether you have three by one or nine by nine, bitch. Whether you take care of your kids or not is the question. The fact that your kids were in the background screaming. The, the fact that you had things to do to get them ready for school for the next day. The fact that everything that you had to do, you neglected to get online for hours and talk about women who not pressed about you. Okay? Um, second thing Chrissy wanted us to know was that everything she said was a lie. But she is hurt that um, Jasmine would ever get on the phone with Olivia and vent to her. At the end of the day, it don't take much to um, impress Jasmine. It doesn't take much to um, make her feel like you on her side, as we can see. You know what I'm saying? It don't take much <laughs> so when Livia was like, leave that girl alone, uh, 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 she felt like she just gained a bestie, honey. She felt like she just gained somebody that she could actually call best friend. No, no, man. Did you forget that she called you slow? Did you forget that she talked about you like a dog? Did you forget that even after that, she's still talking about you. Oh, she don't defend herself. Oh, she this and she that. Oh, I, 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 I. That's corny as fuck, number one. Now, Jasmine's like, she's draining. She's still texting me. And she's, you know, she's doing this and she's doing that. But admit the fact that for a while, you were biting off of her style. Admit for a while, you were biting off of her mannerisms. Admit that for a while, you were copying off of her content. Because she would pull one out, you would pull one out. She would pull one out, you would pull one out. I'm not negating the effect of her calling you say, why would you put that up and you know I'm doing it. Because you're the type that piggybacks off of whatever she does. Now, do I think that this, the friendship was one-sided? Yes, I think you were more of her friend than she was of yours. On her end, I feel like it was a pity relationship. I feel like she felt sorry for you, which is a lot of the reason why people come to your defense. They don't realize that you are fucked up because you're so good at playing the victim, Jasmine. You sit around here and you let everybody else do your dirty work and fight for you. Oh, I don't want to say this. I don't want to say that. But then you get balls and, and buck up, talk about some. But I could fight though. And if somebody walk up on me, I ain't going to say it. You, you, you're not fighting your way out of a wet pick bag. Um, mm -hmm, not busting grapes at a fruit fight. Um, not slapping ass at a go-go ball, bitch. You, you ain't got it. You ain't got it for real. So, <laughs> after Christy goes off, like I said, here comes Jasmine, because people must have been running over there like, baby, she over there reading you to the walls. You need to go protect yourself, but hey, she did not come to the So, here comes Jasmine, like I said, she was on here doing a whole lot of deflecting. Now, let me make this clear about how I feel about the whole situation. Number one is old. Let it go. It's dead. Okay? Y'all no longer friends. Mommy Anna no longer exists. Let the shit go. Now, with Jasmine, she wants to sit up here and make it seem like, oh, no. I had nothing to do with it. It wasn't me. It was my company. You know how easy it is to put the blame on them? It's not like they're going to be like, oh, no, we didn't, because their name's on everything. But do I feel like Jasmine went and had certain videos flagged? I absolutely fucking do. I absolutely do. That they were going to back her in all this shit, that they will take the brunt of it. I do not deny that for one fucking moment. Not one. 
<laughs> not a millisecond, bitch. I don't believe that at all. People trying to come make me believe. Oh, it was a company. It was a company, sis. <laughs> How come they wasn't striking people before? And when, how long have you been with this company? The only way you're going to be able to make me believe some shit like that is if this is a new fucking contract. Because if it's not, you manually went and asked them to do this. Seriously. Like, it's happened to other content creators where... Uh, they were working with this company and the minute that someone says something, you know, about them or anything to that matter, they would flag that fucking video. Even though it's for commentary, I know it got to grind your gears that I got all my videos back. Yeah, I disputed every fucking one of them. People come on, don't dispute, it's a big company. Don't dispute, fuck that. If I know for a fact that I ain't wrong and you're not about to take my money from some shit I worked on, because whether y'all know it or not, I use a little piece of slipping here and there people's content. When you change up the shit, when you change their voice, when you do the voiceovers and the music, that's switching up content for commentary. And whether you know it or not, it's legal, fair fucking use. So you cannot flag a video that is under the guidelines of fair use. So you know what the fuck I did? I disputed every last one. And you know what happened this morning when I checked my email? Your video released, your video released, your video released, your video released. Because there was nothing in my videos that you could flag or take money from. That's got to hurt. You know me? You're not getting these videos. You're not getting these coins. You're not getting them. Sorry, full screen. Not these coins. Got me fucked up. I don't care how big a company is. I don't care about none of that. Right is right, wrong is wrong. And you're not about to take no money from this content, nor am I going to delete any fucking clips because they're all within my copyrights, okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> Like I said, bro, it sucks to suck. Meow. <laughs> baby, Jasmine, go somewhere and have that baby. Go somewhere and have that baby. Stop jumping on and off the internet every time somebody say, girl, you better come say something. Girl, do you care about your son? Because he's stressed. Constantly hearing you up here yelling and carrying on with no Nobody way that world. Nobody. Nobody. I know I don't. Go sit down, focus on popping that baby out, having him be healthy, arms and fingers, arms and toes, alert, being able to see. This is what you need to be worried about. Getting them kids out of the house in the morning to go to school on time, Jasmine. This is what you need to be worried about, all of you. But y'all so pressed for views up between you and fucking Liv. It's like, sis, this is why people always have something to say about y'all. Go do what you gotta do by your kids. Seriously. Because at this point, you should be doing that. Did the babies eat yet? But you will laugh. I ain't got time. Don't got time for. Don't got time at all. Okay? Oh, he spoke. The it's a mess. It's a hot heated ass mess that y'all all need to get in order because this is ridiculous. Y'all all grown as fuck and been on this platform for years. So if you think they not milking this shit, you got another thing coming, okay? People know when certain shit get them the most motherfucking views, which is why they keep doing the shit. Don't think for one fucking minute they don't know what they doing because they do. They know exactly what they're doing. They know that this is going to bring controversy. They know this is going to bring situations. They know that this is going to bring views, baby. So, listen. <laughs> 
Do not let them pull you in, honey, because, baby, Miss Liv, she gonna have to do this whole thing in her motherfucking head, baby. There was never no beef. Nobody was talking about you. You gonna have to do this whole thing because Chrissy decided to come on and say, look, them, uh, um, People that you sign with and know them is better not to do it. Make your own coinage because they take this, they take that. I, 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 oh, you was trying to throw shots at her. I, but that had nothing to do with you, girl. Run the pony, only. That did not have nothing to do with you. So why are you inserting yourself in a situation that had nothing to do with you? She wasn't talking to you, even if she was throwing shots. Now you bestie, that my best friend, that's your bestie. The fuck out of here. You don't even like that girl. You're using her because you don't like Christian Ming. And you know the best way to get under their skin and into their fucking business is with this bitch. And if you got to be friend her to get the tea, that's exactly what you're going to do and what you did. So stop. Miss me. Miss me with the bullshit. Okay? Please, darling, like, comment, and subscribe. And while you are at it, go on the ring, tap that notification bell. So you know when I post it, while you are at it, drop those purple hearts down in the comments. So I know it's real, and Well, I got to go. So, later for new. Bye. You like a probably wrote that shit. know that's it. Uh, more fire, hot like Naya. Whole lot of juice, I'm the plug and the wire. Hold it.